welcome to the Mark Brutalier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby! Yeah. Hey everybody, my name is Mark, Mark Brutalier. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about something super crazy and exciting. We're going to be talking about... Graphic tees. Graphic tees. Graphic tees is what we're talking about today. Graphic tees are super important, especially moving closer to spring summer. Um, it gets hot outside and t-shirts become the only form of men's uh, fashion apparently. I just start wearing t-shirts and only t-shirts and I'm going to hopefully show you guys a pretty decent variety of uh, shirts today. Give you guys a little bit of inspo. Obviously there's a bunch of different cuts out there, a bunch of different graphics a bunch of different styles and yeah um, but before I get too deep in this video if you're new here hi welcome thank you subscribe leave a like leave a comment if you enjoyed this video push the uh, little notification bell so you know when we drop our next video and other than that follow me on Instagram so maybe you can see some uh, fit pics of me wearing these glorious t-shirts I've got 10 Really great t-shirts that I just absolutely love. So let's get into it. The first one is this ringer tee. Ringer tees are really uh, exciting to me. I think they're cool, a, a nice little switch up. A ringer tee is, you know, exactly what the name says basically. It's a ring up here of like a contrasting color and typically as well in the sleeves. Um, this one is a vintage one from what looks to be like some sort of like construction e type company or something. I don't know what the f that uh, this phrase here means or who would even say that. Um, I just really like the colors, the graphic. Um, it's just a very, I don't know, it's just a very calm t-shirt. It's like easy to layer, easy to wear on its own. That's what I like about ringer tees is that you can wear them on their own and it has like something extra that your average t-shirt doesn't. Single stitch looks like it's probably from like the 80s. Um, yeah, that is the first t-shirt. I really like white t-shirts that have like simple like one or two color graphics. I feel like they're easier to layer, easier to kind of build an outfit around of rather than it being the outfit. Moving on, the next one is yet another vintage tee, another single stitch beauty. It is this one right here. Uh, this is actually a newer um, t-shirt for me. I have recently picked this one up. It is from 1986. Pretty crazy. Um, I just really like this uh, graphic on here. The colors are very like warm. They're very just like kind of outdoorsy, kind of like camp looking, but it layers really, really well because there's just so many different colors on it that it's just pretty simple to like find things that'll match with it. I bought it and immediately wore it the next day and that just tells you, if that doesn't tell you that uh, you like the item, then I don't know what does. If you're, not, if you're not begging to wear the item the next day, why'd you even buy it? Anyways. Moving on, we have this uh, this year t-shirt that's all over print. I actually don't even know what the process like involved like of this t-shirt is. I've seen similar ones before. Um, it's got like the front and the back going on. Um, there's some sort of name for like the process of like the dye the dyeing and or like artwork going on. But it's just like super duper cool. I picked this one up at like a secondhand shop, um, and I was just like super drawn to like the color, um, but also just the graphic on it. It's very like mystical looking or something uh, it's not even on like a vintage tag it's not even that old so clearly somebody just has a lot of talent out there um, to make such a beautiful t-shirt but yeah i really enjoy this one I, I haven't worn it in a minute this one is like very much like a statement piece of an outfit so i'm sure now that it's getting like warmer and like t-shirts like i said or typically like your your base and outer layer um i'll probably wear that more so next up we have <coughs> I don't have anything to say about this t-shirt, but I do like it. I just wanted to throw it in there. I've, I've, I've done it before. We don't need to, we don't need to have a full talk about it. Um, just recently gave one of these away though. We had three, if you, if you weren't aware, I had three of these babies. I, I gave one away. Um, so I am now owner of two of the three vintage Purdue summer camp tees in the entire world. So. Awesome. Anyways, next up, yet another vintage tee. I promise there's other graphic tees out there besides vintage ones. That just tends to be what I kind of like at the moment. But is this one right here, I'm pretty sure this is from like a middle school or something, honestly. 
and like definitely not the most exciting like reference for like a vintage tee but i just love the colors and honestly my favorite part about this t-shirt is just like on the collar this like weird like repair that you can kind of see of like this yellow contrast stitching on it i just thought that was a really cool detail um i picked this up at like a vintage shop it was marked down to like i think like 10 or 15 bucks um which is pretty cool like i said green and yellow are just like great like contrasting colors i feel like that's like an underrated uh color combination like i said that collar really does it for me it's on the vintage jerseys tag so nothing super duper crazy i don't know if there's a date on it but it's probably from like the 90s or something let's get into some non-vintage tees because that was just an overwhelmingly large amount of the uh vintage ones so my first one here is this doublet tee doublet's a really cool japanese brand they do a lot of this like fringe work right here on a lot of their pieces i've only ever owned t-shirts from uh, the, this brand um, but I do love their t-shirts. They're very boxy, um, which isn't for everybody. I've had some that haven't worked for me and some that have. This one works great for me. I like the color. The actual, as for what it actually says on it, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but I did look it up one time. Um, I want to say it's like a ramen shop in Japan or something. And they like made this t-shirt like for them or something. Uh, but it's just super cool. It's a very like basic colorway, you know, black, yellow, gray, easy to wear. Um, almost has like a collegiate looking like lettering even though it's like not and just beautiful embroidery work so definitely a cool one um, not one that i wear too too often but um, one that i'll probably keep for a while next one is this face tasm t-shirt um, face tasm another japanese brand this guy just fits extremely extremely small um, even though it's a size japanese three which usually equates to like a medium or large i want to say but yeah, fits super duper tight. Um, again, it has the ringer tee vibe. It's not really like your traditional ringer tee. It's a much like thinner stitching thing. But yeah, I like the colors. I like the little patches on it. And the best part about this t-shirt is that Facetasm is not a cheap uh, brand by any means. I found this at a secondhand shop in Atlanta. It was priced for $20, brand new with tags. Yeah, that was an absolute steal for me. Um, I don't think they knew what it was. We've been seeing uh, like those kind of like baby looking tees become a big thing in women's wear and honestly even in men's wear we're starting to see like really really ultra fitted t-shirts um, with like flared bottoms and things like that pop up so I feel like this will kind of fit that bill. And lastly on my non-vintage tees um, I have this little Martine Rose script logo t-shirt. I really like this t-shirt I haven't really worn it recently because again um, it's like a boxier fitting tee. I typically in the colder months, I find myself wearing like slimmer silhouettes. Um, it's just easier to layer that way. Um, but then once spring, summer comes, I wear boxier silhouettes. Just a simple script logo, easy, easy does it. Martine Rose, cool brand. You should look into it if you haven't. That's that. Couple more. Um, this next one is this vintage MTV t-shirt. Really awesome, it's on the old 80s screen stars. MTV came out in the 80s, so that makes it even cooler. This t-shirt's probably worth around 60 to 80 bucks. Just awesome colorway. I came up on this out of Plato's Closet for $6. And for that reason, I'll probably keep it around for a little while. It fits me pretty well. The colors are good. Good for spring, summer. And I'm pretty, pretty psyched on it. So yeah. And finally, I probably should have done that one last because I feel like this one's not nearly as exciting. But this is all over prints, uh, vintage tee. Um, it's got these like huskies, these wolves, whatever you want to call them, all over it. Um, it's got purples, blues, it's just a lot of like neutrally looking, it's like neutral pastels or something. I don't usually wear a whole lot of color, but as spring summer comes, I definitely am like going to try to wear like a lot more. Um, I just like this t-shirt. I thought it was unique and cool. Definitely nothing like super duper hyper crazy, but yeah, I liked it. I like the occasional all over print. So yeah. But anyways, that is all of my t-shirts. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope it inspired you in some way or another. Let me know in the comments which one your favorite was. Uh, maybe which one you didn't really like. Give me your opinions, whatever you want to say. And thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe, like, do all those things. Again, my name is Mark Boudelier. Follow me on Instagram. Bop -a -dop -a -dop -a -dop. Bye. Elise Shane. Yeah, Elise Shane. So we cop this 80s single stitch Michael Jackson uh, little little children's tee. Let's uh let's do what all vintage people do. Put it on a dirty ground. Oh that's nice. That's nice. Gonna be listing that one for three hundred dollars later. Anyways, let's try this puppy on. 
Yo, no cap. This one might be NFS, dude. This one might be NFS. Anyways, you cop any teas, Bailey? Uh. So, uh, we got this off-white piece with, uh, I don't know if it's safe for YouTube, but some boobies on it. Just the not real boobies. Yeah, probably sell for like 25 old girl if anybody's interested. 